receiving that shoebox gift reminded us that someone out there was thinking about us and there was hope. Alex Senjimana was just seven years old when he witnessed the murder of his grandmother and uncle in the Rwandan genocide. Searching for light in his darkest time, he received a shoebox gift from Operation Christmas Child. He was living in an orphanage at the time. My faith uh, disappeared when I lost my grandmother. And because of receiving that shoebox gift, it was a way that that shoebox gift planted that seed of hope and love of Jesus Christ in my life. Now at 36, he is giving kids around the world shoebox gifts filled with school supplies, toys, and hygiene items. In 2013, he even went back to his orphanage in Rwanda to deliver gifts. And as they, they were excited over uh, a toothbrush, as they were excited over school supplies and tangible items for their own, it reminded me of my own experience as a little boy and got, getting to see their joy, it was um, unimaginable. It was so exciting for me to be able to see that. Senjamana goes to communities across the country, including here in Cincinnati, sharing his story of how a shoebox gift changed his life and strengthened his faith. God allowed me in my healing process to face the people who had killed my grandmother, uh, to, who had killed my uncle. Even the people who've caused them pain, God loves them. And we want to share that same love through Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes to children all over the world. For Local 12 News, I'm Katie Amrine. Sure, you can stop watching, but let's be honest, you want to know more. Tap the links or even better, click subscribe to stay in the know.